what's up? I'm Unknown Shadow. This is Albert. This is Colorado. <sighs> and the ongoing quest for what should I do to the monkey, the latest round has been, hey, let's go in and swap the cam and the ECU. I figured it's a relatively easy and actually not all that expensive upgrade to the bike. I did a fair amount of work trying to get the low end up so that I could get off the line, but you know, why not also get the top end going too? A few weeks back, I pulled out the ECU. Mailed it off. Ordered a, a new TB cam to replace the stock cam. is finding a time to actually do the install. With winter, we got snow here and there, and then snow went away, and then snow came back. So finally today, I took out the old cam and popped in the ECU, and here's that.
With the new ECU in the bike, I needed to kind of let the ECU figure its life out. And what that means is heading out for a ride about 20 miles or so, letting the engine warm up, let the bike warm up, let the ECU kind of figure life out. Now I do have a bazaz on here with the self mapper. I left the last map that I had installed on the bike. We'll see whether or not that's a good thing. It's a map that included mods for the intake and the exhaust. So I figured it was a good place to start. I did have the ECU flashed as well, so I don't know. We'll see how all of that works together. In the meantime, we're just going to be out for a ride and see how this thing does. And so far, it's pretty fun. I'm kind of getting a few miles on the bike, a few things that I've noticed. In my last install, I replaced the clutch cover with the Kotako, which actually removed the oil spinner. It's about two pounds of weight. And at that time, I didn't really have much to say about it other than I really liked removing, you know, extra weight from the engine. Now that I put a few more miles onto the bike since then, um, it's actually, uh, you know, it's not a huge change, but you do notice that throttle response is a little bit more reactive. The engine isn't spending as much time spinning up that extra mass, and it's just kind of finally transferring directly uh, that energy. And so you do tend to feel that you twist the grip, and the engine kind of takes off. Who knows how much of that is just in your brain, hoping that, you know, you paid all that money for that cover, and it wasn't a waste of time, but, you know, I like it. In that last install, I also replaced the clutch springs with something a little bit heavier. And I had mentioned it's a lot more responsive when you let off the clutch. You flick it into second and the front end wants to come up. It's quite noticeable on that. Right now, I mean, going up this hill, you know, I'm second, third, and no problems. The engine seems to be handling quite well. So, so far, pretty happy. I went to the DH motoring ECU flash. It's supposed to up the rev limiter, I think, to 10,000. A few other things. Came back pretty fast. I mean, dude was easy to work with, no problems there. So that's definitely different. <laughs> I don't think I ever hit rev limit previously, so that's fun. Is that really going to be a Torchy's taco? Oh, Boulder Austin. gone for like what's my top speed right now and any of that kind of stuff overall I'm a lot happier with how everything they're handling but yeah with that we'll call this a video I hope that people enjoyed it like subscribe do those things if you want to do them otherwise I hope you have a good day thanks <laughs>